Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here and doing a quick review video of Keywords Everywhere, which is a keyword research tool that I've been using for quite a few years. So I just wanted to do a quick overview of how I use it and then also go over their pricing and some of their features. So to jump into some of their features here, they have search volumes for over 20 plus websites and they have really good estimated volumes in CPCs. So you can get a sense of the keyword volume for a particular keyword. It is a browser extension, so it's really easy to access. And um, while you're Googling stuff, see the search volume. That's primarily how I use it kind of on the go keyword research. I type something into Google, it automatically shows the estimated CPCs and estimated volume, monthly search volume for the keywords. You can see other things like SEO metrics and YouTube metrics, trend charts. Um, you can bulk import keywords and get the metrics there. Uh, there's bulk trends data and a few other things, but primarily how I use it, which I'll show you an example here now, is I go into Google and then let's say I'm searching a keyword for a particular client, maybe they're a SaaS product and they do social scheduling. Um, so I type in social scheduling tool just to get a sense of the volume. First, I go into my browser extension and I turn it on. Um, if you have it on and you're just searching, it will use up your credits, which I'll show you in the pricing. So I turn on the Keywords Everywhere tool and then I do the search here. And you can see right at the top, after I Google it, it shows the estimated search volume, the estimated cost per clicks, the competition, and the trend which is really nice to get a quick sense of, you know, the volume for that particular keyword. I can also scroll down and there's the people also search for um, extension here. So I can see other terms that people search for, their estimated volume, CPCs, trends, and competition, which is really nice. And that's primarily how I use it. It's for on the go keyword research. Um, sometimes I'm discussing with clients on a call and I'll Google something just to get a sense of the search volume. So it's been really helpful for that. Again, if you don't wanna use credits, you can turn off the extension. And then when you search for something, it won't show the search volume there. And then in terms of the subscriptions, they do charge annually. Um, they, the lowest tier is the bronze, the highest is platinum. So the lowest tier is $27 billed annually. This is the plan I'm on. You get 100,000 credits per year. So um, every time it shows the search volume for a keyword, it's gonna charge you a credit. And that can start to add up when you, you know, you're looking at things like the browser extensions. This right here is using, you know, probably 40 credits there. So um, it does add up if you always have it on and you're always Googling different things. I, I like to turn it off when I'm not using it and then save some of those credits. You can purchase additional credits if you need to. So um, say you use up that those 100,000 credits, you can buy another 100,000 for 18 and that's in USD. There are other features that I don't use too much, but I really like how it's so simple and quick to see the volumes for keywords. And it's something I've been using for, you know, probably close to four years now. So I really like it. And um, if you have any questions on it, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer those there. And thanks for watching and have a great day.